Hey guys, so I did a video um, a while back of a band and my favourite local band and I reviewed them and their albums and told you a bit about them. Well, I went over the video and it seems like um, half of it was missing, freezing and stuff, so I had to redo the video. So I'm going to be mentioning about my um, favourite local band, a band that I've seen, um, believe it or not, um, 10 times. Maybe more, but I'm, I know it, I think it's 10, 11, 12, something like that I've seen. And um, I do have the hoodie on at the band. And if you can see the um, logo, they are called, um, bear with me, they are called The Keyses. I've um absolutely fantastic band. I went to see um, um one of my favourite power metal bands, Thunderstone, back in Birmingham. I think it was like three, four years ago. And... I didn't even know who the support bands was for Thunderstone and obviously Thunderstone were brilliant but um, I think it was um, the Mighty Ray for Openers which is my good friend Matt Gore, his band then there was um, Farseo which is Scottish power metal and then I think it was um, then it was Dekesis or it may have been the other way around but I seen them three before Thunderstone came on and Dekesis were absolutely incredible and then um second time I seen them, um, which was a while later, it was um Power Metal Quest Fest, the very first one. And I I was lucky enough to see the Kesis and um Farsi again. Both brilliant bands, and then since then I've seen the Kesis obviously umpteen times and um I've seen them every time I was on the New Dawn tour, purely because um I didn't know nothing about them, so it was to prom obviously the the recent the tour that I went to was um the New Dawn tour so I'd seen them everywhere most bands that I'd seen like I'd seen Power Quest with Freedom Call with Power Quest as support and then special guests were um the Keesis and then I seen them at I think it was Danes of Darkness and some various other places so hell of a lot of times I've seen them and absolutely love them I'm just going to talk about their um the three albums which I have and I'm going to show you the first one which is um Trial by Fire pretty good album it's not my um it's my least played to Kizzy's album it's only because um Gemma's not on vocals on vocals on this it's um his name keeps going out my head but it's Wayne and I know he left the band not sure why I think it was personal reasons or something never knew which um you know I don't normally people's lives and you know different i don't normally ask about stuff like that because you know i'm not really that nosy so i know he left for personal reasons or something and then Gemma at the time was on keyboards i believe so she took over and became the vocalist and then um yeah so it's just my least played but they do play um when i've seen them live they do play a couple of tracks off the album so i've heard them play um the track valhalla quite a few times nearly every time i've seen them which i um, absolutely love the track then their second studio album, which is my um favourite the Keys' album. I absolutely love this album and it's um The New Dawn. I cannot get enough of this album. I played it umpteen times and one of my requests to them, which I've asked a few times, is will they ever release their albums on vinyl? Because I would kill to get them on vinyl, but um my favourite track off um this one, To Conquer or Die. Absolutely fantastic, but I also love um The New Dawn and the the intro the Overture, The Darkest Star is absolutely brilliant for an intro song. And then um, their song Betrayal, which features Matt Gore from The Mighty Wraith, and which duet, which is obviously I thought was fantastic. And then the, the some of their long songs were The Seventh Sky, I absolutely love, and then also By The Fading Light. So I've heard and played this, some of the most of the tracks, quite a few times on the tour, but they may have, um, since I've seen them, dozens of times I may have played the whole album in full but you know over um each time I've seen them they've probably played some of the songs various gigs so I'm sure I've probably heard and played the whole lot in full but the next one I'm going to show you is their current album which is um Fractures I was meant to go and see them in Birmingham and now we're going to be playing the whole of this album live but because Covid hit um not been able to but the lucky thing is they've done a um online live stream performance so they played um the whole of fractures in full and oof, it was absolutely fantastic so thank you again um Gemma and amy and matt and whatnot for um 
playing the whole album live it was absolutely brilliant and um surrender your fears is my standout track on here so i highly recommend giving these a listen if you're a fan of um prog power because i'm um, me being an immensely huge power metal fan they're right up my street and i love the elements of when bands mix prog and power together and like symphonic and stuff like that so prog power band absolutely fantastic i've been to all um power metal quest fest which Amy, the bassist, um, is I think she's the one who runs it, the the founder of um Power Metal Quest Fest, which is all the local um power metal, prog metal, and heavy metal bands from around the UK. And every time I've seen them, and this year I was meant to be, it was meant to be this year in August, or should I say last year? Because this is a new year. Last year, it was meant to be um Power Quest headlining. With um another Swedish power metal band, which was um the only two was meant to be there, and then some various other bands, which I was really looking forward to it, but um obviously COVID. So hopefully this year um it still goes ahead, and I absolutely can't wait, and I'm hoping the Keys get to go back on tour and play um various shows, and so I can see them out any more times because I've been following them since obviously I've seen them from Thunderstone and good friends with them. And, cannot get enough of them live they're absolutely incredible so yeah so you guys check them out and tell me what you think of them in the um description i shall um you know post a link to their um site or should i say their face youtube page with various songs and then i'll post a link to my favorite one which is to conquer or die i absolutely love the intro it's absolutely incredible and every time i hear that live the hairs on my arms stand up so yeah so um i do hope you enjoyed this and take care and if you've watched it, Gemma and Amy, thank you and hope you like this and, you know, I've done your band justice and thank you for watching and see you in the next video.